Hello, two heads up here. Uh, today you can call me Sean, that's my name. And unfortunately, I don't have good news with this video, uh, just to get it out there and everything. I'm quitting, and I'll try and organize this for what part of the videos you're interested in. So I'll divide it up into, first thing I'll talk about is what are the consequences of me quitting with the clan and everything. And I'll talk about all that kind of RuneScape stuff. And pretty much after that will be all the personal reasons why I'm quitting uh, in the first place and all that. Um, the best of my, I'll explain it to the best of my ability. So let's get over the business stuff first, shall we? Um, so I'm quitting and I'm not quitting because I don't enjoy the game or I'm bored of the game or anything along those lines. I'm quitting because of personal reasons, which I'll get into later. So, who is the new clan leader of Dukes of Head, first of all? Well, if you're active in the CC, you should know that the three uh, uh, generals in the clan are Your Girl Want Me, Killers 455, and Never Will. And ultimately, I had to decide between two people for who I wanted to take over the clan. And I really, ultimately, I just based it upon who was the most active out of the three. Um, because they all have great leadership skills in general. Uh, but ultimately, I chose Your Girl Want Me. So you should know how that's spelled. Uh, if you want to add if you want to add him or have, want to join the clan or anything... Uh, just go to the clan forum page. His name's up on there. Uh, I may eventually go around to changing that he's the leader of the clan, but either way, the clan page still works. His name's still up there. You can add him if you want to join the clan. Uh, for all those of you that are already in the clan, uh, you if you want to be in the clan chat, just join his clan chat. If you don't have him added, it's you are like your, like the lazy way to spell it, uh, girl want me all one word. So add him if you haven't already and join the CC and I think he should give out the appropriate ranks. He'll be able to figure it out but uh, from now on like he's pretty much in charge um, and he loves doing events and everything. So if you love being in the clan while I'm in charge of it you're still gonna love it when uh, he's in charge of it uh, for sure. So uh, I encourage you don't leave the clan um, it, I, I love it, and it's a great way to get players together in the game. Uh, so that's out of the way. Um, I want to give a big thanks to all my subscribers that pretty much hung in there with me through my 200 and something plus videos. Uh, I love how I kind of slightly progressed through my videos in terms of quality and maybe slightly in quality and uh, discussion style. I greatly appreciate you guys. I've read every single one of your comments, believe it or not. I haven't responded to all of them, but I have read all of your comments. I do get them in, in my notification box and I check them out. And uh, they, it, means, it means a lot to me uh, to be able to know that you guys are interested enough in what I put out to actually write a comment and every day that I logged into RuneScape I'd have a few people PM me like two or three people PM me saying that oh my god your guide helped out so much thank you so much uh, you're the reason that I got back into interest, uh, playing the game and that I'm interested in the game again and that's why I made my uh, channel in the first place I didn't I never intended to for it to be any source of money. Um, I hope that my videos are all ad-free. They should be, and if they aren't, um, shame on YouTube. I didn't do it. Um, I hate ads just as much as you guys do, and at least on YouTube, not on Twitch, I can control um, the ads. So it, I, did, I never did it for the money. I did it to help people out, and I kind of wish I did it earlier because I've known all this pretty much... <laughs> since I quit the game in 2009 or 2010, whatever it was, I know pretty much all the same stuff that I know now. Um, 
So, what can you do? At least I'm helping you guys, or I helped you guys out up until now. So I really want to thank you guys for supporting me and giving me so much credit. It's why I kept on uh, making videos. Um, so I've gone over the clan, we've gone over the YouTube channel and all that. Uh, I believe that's all of the... Oh, no it's not. So, who do I recommend to going for advice, RuneScape advice really? Well, there's actually someone in the clan that knows a lot about RuneScape that I've actually had like discussions and even sometimes debates about you know what's what you know what's a certain way what item is how a certain item works in a certain way how a special certain special attack works in a certain way uh, whatever anything along the extreme specific details uh, I'd have like I discuss with this guy and he'd be right more than half the time and that is uh, his YouTube channel is Werter W E R T E R um, and his RuneScape name is Killers455. And he's a clan founder of Dukes of Head. Uh, whenever someone asks a question in the clan chat, he is like the first to respond it, uh, respond to it and answer it and answer it correctly every time. Uh, so I'm sure he'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions you have and at least help you out. Um, through text, not through money or whatever. So don't don't go begging to him for money or anything like that, please. Uh, knowledge is much better. Uh, so I think I believe that's all the RuneScape, all the RuneScape discussion that I have to put out there. Uh, once again, uh, I thank you all for all the time you've invested in watching my videos and taking the time to let me know that you like them and comment them and give your feedback and everything. Uh, it really, it really, every time I see, like, likes or comments, it really, like, jumps up my spirit. Uh, but, unfortunately, I, for my own benefit, I, I won't be looking at the YouTube channel. Uh, I've done my best to organize it the best I could. I won't be taking down the videos or anything like that, because the whole purpose of me making them was to help you guys out. So, I've got, I've got a lot of videos, like, if you've got a question... If it's not on new content, I've probably already made some kind of guide on it that has some kind of basic um, uh, information that you're going to need to do it. whatever it's, if it's some obscure minigame like temple trekking or chompy bird hunting or any kind of slayer monster. I've probably already made a guide on it. Um, so search my playlists and search my videos and my channel uh, if you're looking for anything in particular because most likely I'll uh, put your bottom dollar that I've already made a video on it. I've made so many videos. Um, so let's talk about why I'm quitting and uh, I'm I think I don't know if I said this already uh, I'm not quitting because I'm bored of the game uh, I'm quitting uh, for my own personal health and my academic uh, standing uh, salvage my academics really um, so let's talk about my personal health first uh, ever since a kid I've uh, video games I did I did lots of things I did lots of outdoor activities like tennis uh, just running with my dog go running out in the woods uh, swimming golf uh, surfing skimboarding everything uh, but when throughout the times when I was a kid when I did play video games I didn't do any of those things and I didn't do any of those things because uh, I've one I have a very addictive personality in the first place and the, what that means is when I do something it can be anything when I do something like skimboarding uh, I would skimboard for six hours straight until uh, my feet were bleeding uh, so bad from shells stuck in them, or uh, my leg, my muscles were so sore that I couldn't even I couldn't run anymore to run to the board. Um, from uh, working and working at the library and doing my work until 
just three hours from class from starting. So for being in the a library for uh, eight hours, ten hours straight uh, working, uh, it really it ranges from anything. I have a very addictive personality, and it's a it's a double-edged sword. So it can work in my favor, and it can also really uh, do great harm to me. And one of the ways it's done great harm to me, uh, yet again, is when I decided to play video games. Now, it's it's funny because video game, uh, all other things that I've done, I mean, I've only, like, the only, I haven't really taken any drugs, and I haven't had any desire to do any drugs, but the only drug that I've done is alcohol, but I've never, I don't like getting, like, really, like, drunk, blackout drunk or anything, and it doesn't take much for me to get drunk in the first place. But I've never, I never really have more than two or three beers, and after three beers, I'm, I'm gone and I never I never want to have another beer for like a week or two um, so it's not really uh, like I'm not what I'm trying to say is I'm not susceptible to something like alcohol and I probably wouldn't be some susceptible to becoming addicted to anything like uh, cigarettes or marijuana or any other drugs because um, I just don't find them you know enjoyable enough they don't release enough chemicals in my brain for me to get hooked on them. Now, video games, on the other hand, is uh, something in particular that uh, I do get very attached to, and I do get very addicted and uh, closed into. Um, uh, and it's it's been like that my whole life. I've at first, before I admitted to myself that uh, I you can be addicted to video games in the first place. Um, and that I was actually addicted to them. Uh, I believe that I could, I was, you know, I was doing fine. Uh, I could, you know, control myself. I was playing for, you know, and even when I wasn't playing for reasonable hours or amounts of time, I convinced myself that I was playing very reasonable and I wasn't playing very long. Um, but in the end, I think when I was in my teens, I decided, I finally faced the facts that, yeah, I was, when I was a freshman in high school, yeah, I faced the facts that I was addicted to video games and they weren't really helping out my life. Um, so uh, I decided to give them up and I gave away all my consoles and that's the last time, that's the last time I ever like owned a, a new console. The last console I had was a PS2 and um, so I, I pretty much gave up com uh, video games then and uh, like on and off, the only thing that I had left was my computer. So on and off, I'd uh, go into computer games, and the biggest one was RuneScape. The other one was World of Warcraft, which I didn't play for nearly as long as RuneScape. Um, so that was the only thing left. And whenever my life took a downturn, I would like, like I'd be more vulnerable to diving into video games to um, just ignore that my life was on the downturn, really made it easier to do that and I've you know I've gone through that cycle many times and uh, this time I, I don't I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> when my life goes on a downturn I want to be able to immediately pull myself up out of it as fast as I can uh, video games don't help me do that um, when I first quit video games in my freshman year of high school I was uh, I was a I was a pretty puny guy um, but one of the first things I did was I altered my diet to exclude artificial fats or trans fats. And then the very next year I started working out uh, pretty heavily. Um, and that really changed my life and gave me a lot more confidence. Um, and I had, I literally had no desire to turn back and start playing video games again. And this lasted for the longest time. Um, and this lasts through community college as well. It wasn't until I, I transferred to the university where uh, things started to become more stressful, and that's when I turned back to computer games. Um, I'm kind of, I hope I'm not getting too off track here. Uh, but the point is, like, throughout my life, I, under, I, I, I recognize that I am susceptible to becoming, like, my, my addictive personality on top of the fact that video games is 
uh, not really a substance, but is a thing that I'm susceptible to becoming addicted to. Like, you could put anything else in front of me or in my mouth or whatever, and probably, most likely I wouldn't become addicted to it. But for me, personally, video games is a thing uh, that I can very easily get addicted to and uh, not control uh, how much I play. Um, so, uh, where it started to get real bad is when actually when 07 RuneScape came out, I was so excited because it, it had been years since I even played or thought about RuneScape and the fact that they're bringing the RuneScape I grew up with back was awesome. I thought it was great, so I grinded it hardcore. I knew all the tricks about the game, so I leveled up pretty fast and I accomplished everything I wanted to pretty fast. I knew all the tricks and everything. And I decided to make videos for the first time and blah blah blah. But throughout this whole time, I had, uh, I was very sick. I was throwing up blood because of bronchitis. And that wasn't even a wake up call for me uh, to at least take a break from the game. Um, so I wouldn't even take myself to the doctor. I, I would, you know, I pretty much have to force myself to go to the doctor. I didn't want to go, I wanted to play. Um, and this continued up until, uh, really a few days ago where, uh, I had to put my, uh, cat down. So, if you recall, I made, uh, an update video a few months ago about my cat getting, uh, cancer. I didn't know what type of cancer it was at the time I made the video, but it ended up being a very aggressive, uh, bone cancer. And we ended up having to cut off his tail. And immediately after we cut off his tail, he was his old self again, and I was so thrilled. And this lasted for uh, a month and a half or two, and I thought, oh yes, the cancer's gone, uh, he's going to be fine, he's uh, his old self. And slowly he started to lose some weight, and then very rapidly, um, through the last two weeks of his life or so, he lost a lot of weight and a lot of bone mass uh, to the point where his bones probably halved in size and he lost about three quarters of his body weight um, and he was a big cat so he had a lot of skin dangling and all that but it got to the point where his bones were so frail that when he walked you could hear his bones crack and throughout this time up until uh, pretty much the last day or two of his life. Um, I was playing RuneScape and I saw my cat just isolating himself in the closet like he just recently started to do and I decided to uh, walk away from what I was doing from RuneScape and uh, actually spend some time uh, with my cat. Um, before I, kn I knew it was his end time for him and I was just denying it and, and being so involved in video games and computer games in general uh, took me away from that fact. If I hadn't just walked away then and um, uh, spent some time with my cat, I have only would have been able to spend a few hours with my cat before I had to put him, finally put him down. Um, so that was that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. That's what made me ultimately made me realize um, how much uh, video games uh, impacts my life, just to the point where I ignore everything around me. So that's that's the reasoning I can give. And if is there a cat behind me? Yeah, this is not this is not my cat. This. This is my sister's cat that is his brother that I'm taking care of, and I hope he hasn't started the grieving process yet because this was his brother that he lived with for 10 years or so. Uh, but this is a, this is Tugboat. This isn't Snickers. This is my sister's cat. And uh, so I was taking care of them both, and I'm taking care of them now. But what I can tell you about Snickers is uh, these two cats are completely different. I've, I spoiled and took care of my cat. You know, everyone spoils their pets. Um, but I treated, uh, Snickers like he was my, my child, my baby. Um, and he, 
was such a sweet and loving cat. Um, and I hope the video is still recording. My screen just went blank. Um, we'll see if it does. He was such a sweet and loving cat. Uh, And uh, it, it was it was almost like losing you know a child. I never I don't have children. I never had children, but I can't imagine after losing my cat that I've loved and uh, for so many years and taken care of. I can't imagine what it's like to lose your own child. Uh, so that really put things into perspective. But that's a different note altogether. Um. So. I'll end my video on just me giving some <laughs> real life advice, I guess. I'm in no position to give any kind of psychological advice or anything, but I'll do my best to uh, give you advice through my through my own experience. Um, so if you feel like you have um, an addictive nature, an addictive personality, and you feel like that there's one or a few substances or just think unhealthy things in general that you are prone to doing a lot to the point where in excess where it's unhealthy um, I encourage you to give some thought about that and realize it uh, is it affecting your life and um, maybe you need to say in, in my possibly addicted to this thing that I'm doing um, and uh, try and try and back away from it a bit see how see how your um, mind changes and your uh, and probably your life changes as well when I took a few days away from RuneScape for the first time in a while um, it really my mind started to refresh and regain itself uh, I don't know if I'm the only one. I think I watched one of Suomi's videos, uh, but I played, I've played RuneScape so much to the point where I'd fall asleep, like with RuneScape images going through my head, like wherever I'm at Castle Wars or whatever, and I would be in like REM sleep, which is kind of like a half sleep, like very, you know, your eyes move, rapid eye movement sleep, and uh, you're kind of flailing around, but you're kind of half asleep, so you can't do anything about it. Um, like pretending that, I, like thinking that I was actually in doing a Sarah trio, or in Castle Wars, or Dagnes Kings, or anything along those lines. It got to the point where I was going to bed with thoughts of RuneScape in my head. Um, so I guess that's that. That can be one indicator of you're doing something too much when you actually start to dream about it, and you don't get adic adequate sleep. You get you go into REM sleep. Um, because you're doing that thing so much. So that's the advice I can give. Um, be careful of uh, how much you do something. And I'll conclude my video on RuneScape is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. And it's not a bad thing for, for everyone. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying rushing you to quit or anything. Uh, 07 RuneScape is very lucky, lucky to have the uh, development team that we have. Uh, think about all the other Jagex mod imbeciles that could have been picked to run old school and we actually get three guys, initially four, three guys with um, a good head on their shoulders that actually care about the game and, and actually play the game. So um, and that's, that's, that's one thing that, that's one, the, probably the biggest thing that Old school RuneScape has over the live game is has a small, dedicated development team that actually cares about the game, and when that's something that you can tell uh, RS RuneScape three players, like one of the core reasons why you play the game is, well, it feels like the people that make the game actually care about it, um, and that's definitely that's instead of money. Um, or adding something in because they think it's cool not and completely ignoring the players. Um, that's where you can tell people. Um, it's a, we're very lucky to have uh, the Jagex 
moderator, the Jagex development team that we do have, Mod Matt K, uh, Mod Reach, and Mod Ash. I don't know if you didn't know. Uh, I sent a PM to Mod Reach saying uh, just how lucky we us players are to have him uh, on the development team and being in charge of the game, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to do the same sometime, he, he, play, he actually plays the game, so you can add him and he'll... Uh, he'll probably be online around British morning or whatever. That's cold coffee. But I think that's all I have to say. This is probably the longest video that I've made. One of the longest videos, including live streams. So hopefully I wasn't too boring. Hopefully this was educational and not too discouraging. I've made lots of friends uh, throughout the time that I've played RuneScape. I started in 2004 and I've through the times I've played and played on and off, I've made great friends, and I've especially made great friends this time around. Um, most of them I actually communicate with uh, vocally uh, through voice uh, application on the computer, uh, which really it really changes uh, the game. So if you haven't really gotten involved with the community in that aspect, actually talking with other players. I'd encourage you to, uh, if you if you feel like you're missing something out of the game, I'd encourage you to talk, like find find a good group of people that uh, you enjoy hanging out with, and encourage them to interact with you, like uh, vocally, uh, get them on Skype or Teamspeak or whatever. Uh, it really changes the game, and it makes it a lot more interesting, and. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I recommend. It definitely makes the game a lot more fun. So, that's what I'm going to end on. The one final advice I can give is try and be a good member of the community. Don't cheat. Every time that you that someone buys gold or bots or hits other people offline, that takes that takes a part of the game away. That takes a part of your own personal like experience of the game away. Um, even like expect, accepting like free money from people and everything, especially a large amount, that's money that you can't say you earned yourself, and it that just takes away from the game. So if you're getting bored with the game, that may be one of the reasons why everything's been handed to you or you've cheated. You have no real appreciation for the game and the work that you've done on your account. Um, account buying, <laughs> believe it or not, is another thing. Um, so try and be not only just a you know a nice, decent person in the community, but be a um, don't cheat. Be a, a good doobie or whatever. Uh, follow the terms of service. This is I guess the best uh, way I can explain it. So. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me through all my videos. Um, and one final note, if you're looking for a guide on something, I've got 200 and something plus videos on my channel. So unless if it's new content that's come out prior to this video, I've probably already made a guide on it. So uh, I've organized my channel to the best of my abilities through my playlists. I do have a lot of playlists, I apologize. But it's a, I, I, I cleaned it down. And I narrowed it down to like, like as fine and as organized and as understandable as I could. So either look through my playlist for something or search my, search my videos for whatever you're looking for. I guarantee you, I've probably already made a guide on it. Um, so yep. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and I won't be seeing you next time, unfortunately. Um, uh, bye guys.